Hello boys and girls, I'm Corky Paul, illustrator of Winnie the Witch. And today I'm going to read to you from Winnie the Witch. But before I can read Winnie the Witch, I've got to put some clothing on. Let's see what I've got. Ooh, got a little bag here. Ah, hat. Nice, Winnie hat. Put that on. Okay, how's that look? That look good? See the star in the front? Yeah. And then we're going to put on a little cape. Okay. Let's get the cape now. Where's the cape? There you go. Okay. Now this makes me become magical and I can read Winnie beautifully. Let's do a little bow here. So, Winnie the Witch. We all know that Winnie lives in a house. And we all know what color Winnie's house is, don't we? What color is it? That's right, it's black. And she lives in a house with her cat. And his name is, that's right, Wilbur. And what color is Wilbur? Black. Now, Winnie has big problems, doesn't she? She's got a black house and a black cat. Keeps tripping over Wilbur, falling over Wilbur. So I want you to help me do a few things when we read this book. Um, what noise does Wilbur make when Winnie sits on him? Okay, get your little hands up here, pretend they're Wilbur's paws, and you go, meow. And you'll do that. Let's try it again. Get your hands up here, pretend they're Wilbur's paws, and you go, meow. Excellent. Now, what noise does Wilbur make when he's happy? Ah, only pussycats make this noise. They purr. That's right, they purr. Okay, get your little hands up here, pretend they're Wilbur's paws, and you go, brrrr, Half close your eyes. Repeat after me. Excellent. Now, to make magic, Winnie has to wave something. And she waves her magic wand. Excellent. Now, when she waves her wand, she counts three times and she says, Abracadabra. Okay, so we all do it together now. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Excellent. I've got a, a nice big book so you can have a look at the pictures. Okay, Winnie the Witch. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black, the chairs were black, the bed was black, and they had black sheets and black blankets. Even, even the bath was black. Now, Winnie lived in her black house with her cat. We all know his name. Wilbur. And we all know what color Wilbur is? Black. And what color is the kettle? Black. And the pots? Black. And Wilbur's eyes? Green. Now that, boys and girls, is how the trouble began. Because when Wilbur sat on a chair with his eyes open, when he could see him, didn't she? But when he closed his eyes and went to sleep, shh, could Winnie see him? No. So she sat on him. What noise did he make? Did you pause up here? He went, yeah! Good. Now, when Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him, couldn't she? Because what color his eyes? Green. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, <coughs> could Winnie see him? No. So she tripped over him. What noise did he make? Did you pause up here? Now, one day after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magic wand, Waved it three times and said abracadabra. Should we all do it together? Let's go. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Excellent. What happened to Wilbur? He turned bright green. And what color his eyes? Green. So when Wilbur sat on a chair, could Winnie see him? Yes. And when Wilbur slept on the carpet, could Winnie see him? Of course she could. And when Wilbur slept on the bed, could she see him? Of course she could. Uh-oh. Was Wilbur allowed to sleep on the bed? No. So Winnie put him where? She put him outside. And what color is it outside? Green. And what color is Wilbur? Green. And what color is his eyes? Green. So when Winnie came hurrying outside, she tripped over Wilbur, did three somersaults, <gasps> and landed in the rose bush. And what noise did Wilbur make? Did she pause up here and meow? And what noise did Wilbur Winnie make? She went, ow. Now, was Winnie happy in the rose bush? No, she was furious. 
And you also have that big word, furious. It means you're really angry. So she picks up her magic wand. She didn't wave it three times. She waved it five times. So let's see. Are you going to wave five times? Can you all count to five? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Abracadabra. Uh-oh. And what happened to Wilbur? He turned rainbow colors. And his head was red. And his body was yellow. And his legs were purple. And his tail was pink. His whiskers were blue. But his eyes were still green. Now when he can see Wilbur when he sits on a chair. When he lies on the carpet. When he crawls through the glass. And when he climbs up to the top of the tallest tree. Was Wilbur happy at the top of the tallest tree? No, Wilbur climbed to the top of the tallest tree to hide because he looked ridiculous. <gasps> and even the birdies were laughing at poor old Wilbur. And Wilbur was feeling very sad, miserable. Can you all make a sad face? Or make a sad face? Excellent. Now, when he's, Wilbur stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night, Next morning, Wilbur was still up the tree. Aww, when he was worried. She loved Wilbur, and she hated him to be miserable. So she picks up a magic wand. She waved it how many times? Three times. Here we go. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Uh-oh, what happened to Wilbur? He turned black. And when Wilbur's black, how does he feel? He feels very happy. Everybody make happy face. And he came down from the tree purring. Can you all purr for me? Let me put the book here. Get your paws up here. And Winnie waved her wand again and again and again. And she shouted, Abracadabra. And what happened this time? Her house turned multicolored. She had a, no longer did she have a black house. Uh-oh. Turn over the page. She had a yellow house with a red roof and red doors. The chairs were white with red and white cushions. The carpets were green with pink roses. The bath was, the bed was with pink blankets, white sheets, and the bath was a gleaming white. And now, boys and girls, Winnie can see Wilbur no matter where he sits. So should we do one more abracadabra? Let's go. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Excellent. Good. I hope you enjoyed that story because I enjoyed drawing it. Bye!